Hey guys, and welcome to the Weekend Buzz. My name's Tony Piroff, and this is a weekly review, movie review show where we watch, then review our main movie of that week. Thanks to our friends here at Stevenage Cine World. Stick with us until the end, because every week we will be giving you a chance to win a pair of tickets to Cine World. The movie review of this week is Tim Burton's and Mrs. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Miss Peregrine's Home for the Peculiar is about Jake and his adventure to find the home for, for the peculiar. Along the way, Jake discovers that there are monsters living in the world called Hollows, for which Jake and the other peculiar children have to stop. Expect anything out of the ordinary to happen. I tried to leave it all behind me, but I woke up and there they were beside me. That day, everything changed. So for me guys, this was very Tim Burton. It took me right back to the Batman days, very gothic and horrific in places. I really liked his casting choice as Eva Green as Miss Peregrine. Um, she was very good at kind of manipulating the screen as well as manipulating you as a viewer. She was very good at kind of keeping stuff to herself as well as surpri uh, surprising people in other senses of the word. Um, Jake, played by Asher Butterfield, was very good indeed. He was kind of cold at the beginning and it took us a while to kind of warm up to him, but towards the end, he was right on his side, guys. Another key point I would like to kind of add into this was Samuel L. Jackson's part as the villain. Very good, very demonic, um, very Tim Burton, gothic, horrific, and very down to the point. Humour as well involved in this villain was very welcome indeed. The visuals for me were absolutely breathtaking in, in parts. Stop motion was in there, like back into Tim Burton's night, not as it Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, and, and, and also, Another kind of element I'd like to add, I wouldn't see this in 3D. It doesn't warrant being in 3D. So guys, go and see it in 2D, get online, go to cineworld.co.uk and order your tickets. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. Go and see it, guys. Thanks to our friends here at Cineworld Stevenage, we have a pair of tickets to give away to one lucky winner. So don't forget to give their Facebook page a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. Please note that tickets are only valid for the UK. To have a chance of winning the pair of tickets, simply answer this very easy question. Who directed the movie Miss Peregrine's Home for the Peculiar? Little, cute, little clue, I mentioned, it, I mentioned his name in the start of the video. Just put the answer in the comments below. It's as simple as that. The winner will be announced in next week's episode where we are reviewing the new thriller starring Emily Blunt and Jennifer Lawrence, The Girl on the Train. So thanks for joining us for this first episode of The Weekend Buzz. I've been Tony Piroff. Don't forget to give a big thumbs up to Steve, Stevenage Cine World Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you keep up to date with the movie scene. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe, guys, and I'll see you all next week.